Yes, hi, Bill. Um, today we're going to be talking about the different parts of, of setting up a gym. And one of the first things, uh, a staple in every gym, should be an electronic timer. This keeps everybody on, on the same intervals. Um, and it, it allows a coach not to have to worry about having a stopwatch and trying to, trying to measure each person's progress. Uh, these can be set up for uh, two minute rounds and three minute rounds. Uh, we like to use two minute rounds. We like to uh, train for what we box at. Um, the, the rest period can be set up between 30 seconds and one minute. And again, we like to simulate a boxing match, so we're going to use that for one minute. Um, when it gets more advanced and maybe one day out of the week, we'll use a three minute timer with a, with a 30 second break. Um, so to start this, what we do, uh, once, we, once it gets turned on, it's going to go for a minute and a half on the green. Um, and if you were to look around the gym, everybody would be working out during that one minute and a half. Then it's going to go 30 seconds on the yellow. Um, not only is that a uh, separate time, but it's a time to actually speed up. A lot of people think they can slow down because the round is almost over, where in fact that actually means speed up, speed up. Um, you're going to be getting a break anyway. Then the red is where everybody's going to rest and get the break that they need. Um, so we try to simulate, again, a boxing round, which is a two minute long round with a minute in between. So as you walk into the gym, there could be 15 people here all doing something different but they're all going by the same clock. Minute and a half on the green, added to 30 seconds on the yellow for a total of two minutes with a minute rest period on the red. Everything you do, you should do in three two minute rounds, whether it be jump roping, shadow boxing, uh, hitting the heavy bag, hitting the speed bag, no matter what you're doing, everybody sticks with the clock. Um, this should be put in an area where everybody can see it uh, and where everybody can hear it. And after a day or two, most boxers can tell just by the sound that um, the color has changed. They don't actually have to see the color. Uh, most of them will be able to tell eventually by the, um, uh, by the, by the tone that has actually changed from, from green to yellow. This one should be just about ready to change to yellow now. And then after that, it'll be 30 seconds on the yellow and then a minute rest period on the red. There we go.